Welcome to Morgellons Discussion and Microscopy Videos with your host, Jeremy Murphy. Hey, what's up, YouTube? And welcome back to our show, Morgellons Disease Discussion and Microscopy Videos. I'm your host, Jeremy Murphy, and today I wanted to respond to the Stuff You Should Know video on Morgellons Disease. There's a lot of inaccuracies in that video. Uh, first of all, they made it out like Dr. Randy Wymore was the only physician who thought Morgellons disease was real. This is not the case at all. As a matter of fact, there's international teams of scientists repeating these studies that have legitimized the Morgellons condition as associated with the Lyme disease infection. So, I'm not exactly sure where they came up with the information that Dr. Wymore was debunked and that all the fibers that he found were uh, environmental contaminants. That's not the case at all. As a matter of fact, here's a press release from June 15, 2016. It says right here, two additional laboratories have now replicated this important research. Oklahoma State University Center for Health Science Research team led by Randy S. Wymore, PhD, reported finding Borrelia DNA in Morgellon skin samples. Dr. Wymore's presentation at the recent medical conference, multiple bacterial species identified in Morgellon's samples provided much anticipated results and independent corroboration of previously reported findings. So they found the association, but what about the fibers? The fibers themselves have been demonstrated to be growing from human skin cells. That's the very beginning of these fibers, these mysterious microscopic filaments that are observed under unbroken skin in Morgellons disease patients are actually being grown from skin cells that are infected with the Lyme bacteria. I'm very confused as to why uh, Stuff You Should Know's video did not mention anything about this expansive research. There's about a dozen peer-reviewed studies now Close to a dozen peer-reviewed studies now that demonstrate uh, Morgellons is part of an infectious process. Uh, but they focused entirely on suggesting that it was a psychosomatic condition. Let me concede this. Because of the research that suggests that Morgellons is purely psychosomatic, many physicians are now misdiagnosing patients with Morgellons who don't actually have the condition just so they can establish a rapport with them. You will find some scientific research that corroborates my assessment on this situation. So, you have people running around claiming that they have more gallons, but they don't have any sores and they don't have these fibers. They just are afraid of the chemtrails. And that's a fact. If you like this video, hit this like button, uh, smash in that subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time we upload one of these new videos. And if you're on patreon.com slash morgellons, you're going to see something that we're making another video about that's coming up pretty soon.